Hi, this video is to show you how to set up an email account in Outlook 2010. This video assumes that you've already set up an email account in your cPanel on our servers and now that you just want to set it up on your own personal computer so that you can download the email from the account you just set up. Uh, the first thing to do would be open Outlook 2010. Once it's open, come over to this File tab, click on that, and you'll see right here Add Account. Click on that little button that says Add Account. In this field, you want to put your name as you want it to appear when the receiver receives your email. In other words, when somebody receives your email, they're going to look in their inbox and they're going to see this name as, as the person that sent that email. Uh, in this field type your email address that's your full email address I'm going to put the one that I just set up on my own server Larry at net success now dot net in this field put the password that you set up when you created the uh, email account or the password that we provided to you when we sent you the email with all of your account information in it. Retype that same password. And then down here put that you want to manually configure the server settings or additional server types and click Next. This is going to be an internet email so I leave that and I click Next. Here you see it's already filled in some of the details for me. Uh, on this account type select either POP3 or IMAP. If you select POP3 that's that's the most standard way to do this and also the easiest uh, and this will allow you to collect your email from from one server. If you're gonna need to access your email from multiple uh, computers, let's say you have a laptop at home, you have a, a, a desktop in your office, and you have another office that you'd like to be able to, to use, go ahead and select IMAP. I'm going to select IMAP on this. On the incoming mail server, type your domain name. Uh, if your domain name is abc123.com, simply type abc123.com. My domain name, however, is netsuccessnow.net and so that's what I'm gonna put here I'll just cut it there and I'll paste it there under incoming mail server under outgoing mail server I'm also gonna put netsuccessnow.net your username it, it wants to fill something in for you here just disregard that your username is the full email address and so I'll just cut it and paste it from up here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so my full username is Larry at netsuccessnow.net. Uh, the password is what you set up in your control panel. You can go ahead and click remember password and here where it says require logon using secure password authentication do not check that go ahead and, and click on more settings under outgoing server my outgoing server requires authentication make sure that that's checked you can go ahead and use the same settings as my incoming email server uh, under uh, the advanced tab Incoming mail server, IMAP is 143. Outgoing server, now if you're doing POP, P-O-P, that should be 110. But for this demonstration, I'm using IMAP, and that's 143. Outgoing server, SMTP, you can leave 25 there. I like using port 26. Go ahead and click OK. And then test your account settings. and it looks as if everything's set up okay there. So I'll close that and then I'll click Next. It goes ahead and it tests again as you click Next. Everything's fine. And you
you get to this screen, congratulations, you have successfully entered all the information required to set up your account. To close the wizard, click Finish. And I'll close it. And ta-da! I now have that email account here, Larry at netsuccessnow.net. And it looks like I've already actually got a couple of emails waiting for me, which are the Microsoft Outlook test messages that I just sent. So that is how you set up a uh, one a, 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 an, an email account in your Outlook 2010. Thank you.